Good in with our friends over at 830 WCCO Radio. Hello, Chad. Hello, ladies. How are you Hi, doing? Hi, Chad. Great. Uh, Jamie Yuka is with us at 1235. She's about a week into the uh, the new gig She's in Southern Cali California. Girl. Yeah, you saw her. I did. Oh, yeah, in that's Napa. right. She came to my bachelorette party in Napa, California. Hmm. Let me check my phone. <laughs> I don't remember getting an invitation. Girls only, Chad. Yeah. Napa pretty good. It was amazing. Yeah, it, and she's doing really well out there. She's got a cute little car. I'll have to ask her about that. Yeah, she bought a mansion uh, <laughs> on the ocean. They're paying her millions now. Uh, so she's good, and she's going to join us. And then we're going to talk about, there's a Politico story about the New York Times and the Washington Post and the battle they're having right now in covering President Trump. Now, we're also going to talk about the two editors and their relationship and the role they play with the papers. And there are a lot of Trump supporters who are not happy with either paper. Let's be honest, they feel like the coverage has not been fair. Well, fake President news. Trump, I would say, is not happy with either paper, at no, least it, it, in the opinions he's voiced. Correct. And, and, and that's an interesting dynamic when you have these two papers and you have the most powerful person through social media, who's the leader of the free world, going at them. And there's a, a person who's quoted in this story that uh, Joe Pompeo wrote, from the New York Times saying it's war. So when there's that much pressure on each paper to try to top them, does accuracy ever suffer? And these are the two lead papers. So we actually taped that conversation with uh, Joe earlier. We'll play it at 2.35. Sounds interesting. Thanks, Chad. Thank you. You can tune in to the Chad Hartman Show until 3 o'clock on 830 WCCO Radio.